five reading for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, uh, um, Wondering cards for Gemini. I'll just do them, shuffle them a couple more times. <clears throat> um, yep. Yeah, so it's an all about you, <clears throat> you reading. It's going to be for June. Um, yeah. If you resonate at all, drop me a comment, like and share this video, and subscribe. So it can be about anything that's reading, basically it has to be to do with you, but it can be um, family, friends, work, life, what am I saying, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay, Gemini, so the first card is the, um, okay, the garden card. I think it's a garden card, I'll just check. <laughs> Still learning this one. No, it's nice, a clear card. Good job, I looked in it. Okay, Gemini, so you got lucky, quickening, clearing, cleansing. So, something about your situation at the moment, Gemini, is lucky. Something's going to happen that's going to bring you luck. Um. Beautiful blessings are coming towards you. Uh, yeah. So as long as all the other cards around are good, this is a, a very good card. Like a very... Oh, the next card. What are people seeing about you, Gemini? Is eight of... It's a coffin card. Which is endings, finality and release. So you're saying something is very lucky, <laughs> and somebody else, maybe your person or other people, are seeing an ending, a finality, a release. So you're definitely having one thing going on inside you that you feel. Maybe you feel it's lucky that you can release this thing. Maybe you're you're finding it good to release this thing. Um, but there is an ending with that coffin because it's finality. Okay, so the next one is your um, secret, and that's the key. It's like a mystery. <laughs> um, okay, yeah. So solutions, tools, missing puzzle piece. Ah, maybe that's why you find you're feeling lucky because you found the key, and you're keeping it a secret. So maybe you found the key to. Okay, well, clear. Um, maybe you've been found a key to the door. Yeah, you found a missing key or a miss a missing puzzle piece. Something's happened that you've worked out, basically, Gemini. You've worked out a solution. You've 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 been very busy. So if we get the book in here, or um, yeah, there'll be secrets will be revealed. Anyway, okay. So the next one is why is. And that's, I think that's a wolf card, let me know. Yeah, the fox. So this one is, uh, why are you keeping it a secret that you found your key, that you've got your, um, your luck, whatever it is coming to you. Uh, the, the fox is creative, cunning and oppor opportunistic. The fox could be seen as a sign of trickery, but then this might just be due to the cunning and sharp, almost devious nature of the fox in the wild. A fox not only has the ability, but needs to make a lightning fast decision upon which his life depends. When the fox is in your cards, ask yourself whether you need to look, whether you need to think creatively or outside the box. So, yeah, I feel like you're keeping this a secret about this key, this <coughs> solution, and it's because you're looking outside the box at the moment. I feel like you're not playing all your cards at the moment. Maybe Capricorn, maybe Capricorn, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Gemini. But... Okay, what's on your conscious mind is 29, which is the, it is the girl card, but in this one, It's um, so 
so yeah the second woman is an asian woman she's dressed in yellow a hooded robe symbolic of the east and the morning light she has long black hair dark eyes and medium complexion she holds a swinging sensor an incense burner with smoke wafting out of it and she purifies and sweetens the circle space within it yellow is associated with the element of air and it is the woman's part to call the east to the circle for ritual so gemini that's your own that's your own element so you could actually have yourself on your mind at the moment so on your conscious thoughts gemini i think it's you're actually thinking yourself which is a good thing in your heart you know you've got a very big man in right in front of you and you can go around it you can go back where you come from you can go over it or you can uh, but it's big and you've got to, to, to conquer it you've got to do what you've got to do challenges difficulties obstructions delays it's going to take time it's not just going to be a simple thing but you can do that okay and then in your soul We've got a snake card. Which is betrayal, caution and indirect. So in this one, um, Gemini, yeah, it says, most of us have negative associations with the snake before we even begin to think about it. It comes down through history as being a sign of evil or treachery. But snakes also are a symbol of great wisdom and elegance. On this card, the man holds out his hand and a python is caught up around it. There is a mutual trust and respect here. As anyone who has handled a snake can tell. Gemini. I feel like you're maybe contemplating your soul at the moment. You may be going around things in a bit of a, a bit of a snaky way, <laughs> a bit of a way. Um, I don't blame you. Maybe maybe you have every reason to, but you um, di indirectly or directly, you're you're going about things in a bit of a you may even take the long way around to 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 get your goal, but you do not forget, and this needs to be handled with care. Whatever this situation is, at hand may be. So, yeah, you need to, like, it's almost saying that's a dangerous animal. And if you don't handle this with care, this could really blow up on your face. So you do need to be careful. Okay, the last card is 12, and that's a bear card, which is, this is gossip. This is people talking. There's people on their mobile phones chatting about stuff. So there's still a lot of gossip around this. People are talking, people are having their opinions, yeah, chatter, gossip and communication. There's a lot going on around this, around this reading, around this, whatever the situation is, we are going to clarify. The last card is 13. That must be a child card. Okay, yeah. Small, young and innocent. This is the overall energy of this reading. Shown here is a beautiful young child, and underneath it we see a woman following a child walking through the lush grass. So the child card can also be a sign that something that starts out small has a potential to grow, as the small seed that grows into a large tree. Be mindful not to neglect the details all the time, and make sure not to leave any loose ends. Generally, a, a positive card with the mountain... It points to a need for a very small steps and almost painfully slow, careful progress to overcome an obstacle rather than trying to overpower it. Finesse may be called for. Yeah, generally. I feel like we had a reason where you had to tread a bit more carefully. You had to go really slowly at something. So you get all the details so you don't miss, you know, details that could actually, good or bad, that could help you. Anyway, we're going to clarify. We'll clarify this clover card. Why is this? Why have we got this lucky card here? I'm going to clarify with the same card from a different pathway. 
thing. Okay, yeah. So you've got a lucky situation which is going to turn around in your favour, but we've got that mountain card again. So to get this luck, I feel Gemini, you know, it's not going to be straight away. It's what's in your mind at the moment, your soul. But you've got a mountain to find there. Looks like my cat's come to watch. And then we've got 37, which is what this um, what this ending is in this. And that's 37. I think it might be. Oh, sorry, quick blank now. 37. So it's time. Take time to assess what's important when time falls near or with the tower card. Expect a long time before fruition. But this time sticking basically on this ending that's coming up for you, Gemini, basically. So you, this ending that's coming, other people are seeing that time sticking. So maybe this other person doesn't realise you've got a very big mountain to climb before you get to where but they're saying this time is ticking <clears throat> yeah and then I'm just going to pull that one as well and that one's a mouse card so the mouse card is um, yeah decisions, indecisions, choices, options and, and these mice will gnaw at things from the inside, so they're really little, they can't really hurt you, but they can destroy things, so they can nibble away at things, and that's what this time is about, that's what this person's seeing, that all these little things are going to nibble away. Okay, why is Gemini keeping this key a secret? This key card, I mean. Hmm? And that's 20, I think that's a card, isn't it? So maybe you're keeping this a secret because I think this is a garden card. And the garden is public out in the open, yeah, garden. Public, open, social. So you're keeping this a secret and you're keeping that key secret as well because you don't want this out in the public. You don't want people to, you don't want everybody to know about this. I feel Capricorn. Uh, Capricorn, I keep saying it. There's a Capricorn involved with this, Gemma. Um, why have we got this? Garden coverage, you know? Okay. Right. Okay. 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 Yeah, and then we've got this book of knowledge, which I think is secret. I think we just got that in that um, card. Where was it? 26. Yeah, hidden secrets, private. Okay, so we've got the snake here as well. We've got a few cards on here, wait a minute. Yeah, um, okay, so, a book of shadows is meant to be kept a secret. Though pagans can choose to share willingly from their books, it's a grave offence to steal or read from one, one without permission. In the Lemonade, in the, lemonade, the book of, in, is a sign of secrets, information that has been withheld and secrets being kept. Whether deliberate or not, and present, and the, and at the heart of the situation being read here, the snake accompanies the book. You can be sure that it has been done intentionally. However, the book often represents a discovery, as I'm as in learning the secrets, investigating. You got the? Did you get the book as well? Yeah, I am. <laughs> this is the book. Uh, right, okay, we got the fox as well. <coughs> so we got the snake and the fox. With the fox, the book can represent a hidden agenda. But not necessarily a, har a, um, a harmful one. I do see that actually. 
I think whatever this key is, which is, which is probably looks like it. Yeah, is solution source. You're keeping that secret because you've got knowledge on something, and I think you hold a key with that knowledge, um, Gemini. I think you've been very clever. Just be careful and do it very slowly so you get all the information, whatever that is. So you don't do yourself an injustice when you shouldn't be getting it. I do feel that. Okay, so we've got 42, which is the clock. Yeah, it's a compass actually. Are you going on one of life's journeys? Take stock and follow guides. Okay, and then the next one we've got is 16. Which is... Um, if you're about to go on a journey, Gemini, you're off somewhere. You're probably not telling anyone. Okay, so 16. 17. Yeah, destiny, guidance, inspiration, spirituality. I feel like you're just being guided, Gemini. I feel like you just know what you got to do and something's telling you. And you're going along with it and you're just listening. And I feel you've got to go very slowly so you hear everything you need to hear. But I do think you're hearing it. So I think you're very well informed. But don't... I feel like the information you're getting is not information you can just go out with a bull in a china shop, so don't do that. Got a colourful card again on you, because that's you. Your air sign. You've you, you got luck coming to you, Gemini. If you do this, what you've got to do, you've got luck coming to you. Yeah, and then we a 30 card. Lilies, yeah. Stress free, relaxation, sexuality, and elderly. Yeah, whatever, whatever you're doing right now is going to bring you luck and you're going to be able to chill, stress-free, not worry about things. But we've got the sheaf cup, which is cutting things out to harvest things, but you, things have got to be cut out and you're going to tell, say that, I think, you know. Yeah, cutting, endings and harvesting. So something's got to be cut out and you're going to make sure it's on your mind. So you can have this peaceful, relaxing... You know, time. Okay, what's on this mountain is the... Uh, I think it might be the bridge. Let me have a bit. But yeah, it might not be the bridge. Okay, it's probably not the bridge. Um, 38 is the wall. Dig deep, you will find, you will find more on this situation when you do. Okay, Gemini, so you've got to, when you go on this mountain, you've got to dig deep and go slowly, that's what I said, and, and, and don't, don't get this person or whoever, whatever this is, too quickly. Then you've got the whip, which is the 11, which is repetition. Be careful of, yeah, maybe that's what you've got to do so you get every detail. Yeah, repetition, arguments, punishment, hurry. Oh, okay, so maybe maybe that's what that is about. Dig deep, you know. Don't, don't let this person fob you off with just arguing with you and doing the same repetitive things. Just, you know, do whatever you can to avoid letting them do that. Because I feel like that's, they get you in that way because maybe you explode. Or you do something that, that makes you on the, on the, you know. That makes them think that they've... Not they've won. They, they, it's a control thing, I feel. Yeah. Okay, on this snake, there's a there's a message coming in on this snake. 27. Or you've already had it. That's in your soul. Maybe you just know. Yeah, it's written communication. Contracts. Okay, Jenna, so maybe you're worrying, maybe you're sitting there thinking about contracts and mortgages, maybe all that stuff, you know, things you've got with somebody you may have been with for a long time with a tree card, that's, you know, home, family, it's the tree of life, you know, ancestors, all that stuff, health, longevity, and then you've got the ring card, so I feel like there's a marriage awareness as well, there's a, 
and that's on your soul as well. You, so you probably feel very, uh, you're loyal to this person. This person is your person. If you're married to him, you know. Why have we got this gossip card? I don't feel this is anything new to you, Jim. I feel like you know this is going on. I don't think my, not a lot misses you, I don't know. Okay, tradition, that is. Um, people are gossiping. Six Gemini about oh god, it's like the last person. Yeah, it's about burdens, karma, patterns, and religion. People are maybe talking about religion, people are maybe talking about karma and patterns and and what's going on, and people have probably got a lot to say about a lot of things, but you, it is your decision, and you believe what you did was to be. The moon card, things are being shone on. Um, and the moon card's like different in here, let me just quickly read it, 32. Yeah, the moon here is for dreams, hopes, aspirations, and vacation. Maybe people are are talking. Maybe you are doing your dream, or maybe that you know that's what you want to do. And then we have got eight, which I think is the coffin. I might be wrong. No, it is endings. You had two coffin cards. There's an ending coming, and it's you're guided to do it. I feel there's something that's got to end. Whatever it is, whether it be you with your person, um, but there's an ending coming. So Gemini, I feel like you have to start releasing some things. And let some things go. Um, right. I'm not going to do, I'm going to go through the huge cards. Um, so we'll do some Ascendant Masters. Okay, yeah, Persistence. Father, Husband, Brother and Son. Priorities, meditate. I feel like you get some answers if you do some meditation. <laughs> get yourself out. If you can't meditate, just be quiet. Just sit in your own thoughts for a little while. You know, quiet your mind as much as you can. Love, I'm a wonderful. I am wonderful, and I receive love every day. Grace, I gracefully accept uh, the love of the universe. And we've got one of these, which is your career path. Okay, so we've got healer, your natural healer. Nutrition, I think we had that for you for you. Builder, your builder, as in spiritually as well. And love and light. Which one of these one? Okay, share. When you share, everyone else feels happy. And one step at a time. That share card could go the other way around, you know. As much as you share with someone, they have to share back as well. Is it worth I, I should tell you that? Yeah, recovery. Another key. Maybe you're getting it. Maybe you're getting a key. Maybe you lost a key. <laughs> Maybe it's in the kids' room because there's a toy there. Yeah, you've got wisdom. Gaining wisdom, I do feel that. You've got a lot of spiritual growth. There's going to be a completion. There is an ending coming. And it will be destiny. And it may be with a soulmate. You have to let me know in the comments what uh, what that's about, Capricorn. Capricorn, why do I keep saying Capricorn? Gemini. <laughs> I'll read one of these. 
When I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, I will always be guided back to the light. Right, Gemini, I'm going to lose lots of light with you, and I'll catch you next time. Take care, guys. See you later, bye.